2003 AP Calculus AB, free response form B. This is problem number five. It shows a graph of function f, which is obviously not differentiable at certain points. Let f be the function to find on the closed interval 0 to 7. The graph of f shown is four line segments. Let g be the function, g of x equals the integral from 2 to x of f of t dt. All right. Start with a fundamental theorem of calculus. We have an integral of a function, so we're finding the area of the curve from 2 to x. Question 1a says, find g of 3. Okay. So g of 3 is simply the integral from 2 to 3 of f of t dt. Well, that's just the area of the curve. When I look up here, it's just this area. The trapezoid, 1, 4, 2. So I'll just write it as a trapezoid. 1 half, 4 plus 2 times 1. And I know g of 3 is 3. The next thing they ask for is g prime. All right, so g prime of 3 equals question mark. So i got to take the derivative of this function. This is definitely a fundamental theorem for calculus. We should do this, we should be able to do this visually. You integrate f of t, you get f of x. You take the derivative, you get down, it comes down again, and we're going to get that g prime is simply f of x. So all I have to do for g prime of 3 is read the graph. I go up, and g prime of 3 is 2. All right. Finally, the next one says g prime prime of 3 equals question mark. All right. Well, if I'm going to do that problem, I have to take the derivative of g prime. Well, the derivative of g prime is f of x. So g prime prime, x is just going to be f prime of x, or the derivative of x. The derivative of x is just the slope at that point. So at 3, if I look at the slope of this line, I would say it has a rise of negative 2 and a run of 1, so the slope of this is negative 2. So g prime prime of 3 is negative 2. And again, I'll score these at the end, but I would say those are the complete answers are for letter A. Put those over here where I can just read them. I would imagine that it would award points just for the values. Next, letter B, find the average rate of change of G on the interval 0 to 3. The average rate of change of G. Well, the average rate of change is going to be G of 3 minus G of 0 over 3 minus 0. That is the average rate of change. Well, the good news is from the previous problem, g of 3, I know. g of 0, I'm going to have to calculate. And I get the integral from 2 to 0 of f of t dt. But I don't like that format, so I make it the negative integral from 0 to 2 of f of t dt. These are integral rules. And again, I go back up and I look, 0 to 2, I see a triangle, base 2, height 4. So negative 1 half, 2 times 4 or I get negative 4. Now it's simply plug it in. G of 3 from the previous problem was 3, so 3 minus a minus 4 over 3, 7 thirds. There are no units on this problem on the graph, so I don't have to worry about any units. So that is the complete answer for letter B, and I would guess that this is only worth one point. I might be wrong, it might be worth two. But again, we'll group it and score it here in a second. I'll shrink it down so we can read 7 thirds, and that is letter B. Right here. Letter C. For how many values of C, where C is between 0 and 3, is G prime equal to the average rate of change found in B? So, the average rate of change is 7 thirds. It's asking when is G prime C? So, you got to remember, G prime from our first problem up here, G prime is just simply f of x. So g prime of c is equivalent to f of c. Well, they're asking that to be 
they're asking f of c to be 7 thirds. From the standpoint of the graph, 7 thirds is right here. Between 0 and 3, I hit the graph two times. So there are two values. There are two values where d prime of c equals 7 thirds. And it says, explain your reasoning, because d prime of c equals f of c, and f of c equals 7 thirds two times from 0 to 3. And again, my English and how I write this maybe not matches. We'll see where we score it. I would call this letter C. So again, we're going to group that and save it. I would guess this is either one or one point or two points. We'll save that as letter C. That takes us to the last one, letter D. Find the x coordinate for each point of inflection. Justify your answer. This is not that hard a problem. This is definitely one we should get. Point of inflection is when the double derivative changes sign. And remember, g prime prime is equivalent to f prime of x. So x e so we look at the graph, positive slope, negative slope. So here's one point of inflection. So x equals 2, negative slope to positive slope, x equals 5, it has to be the other one. So x equals 2 and x equals 5 because f prime of x, I might start with g prime prime of x equals f prime x, and f prime of x changes sign at x equals 2 from positive, negative, and at x equals 5, changes sign from negative to positive, thus points of inflection. And again, we'll see if I get all the points. If I simplify it, we'll group this, and now we're going to score it. And we're going to score it, hopefully, rather quickly. Group this. I'll take all of this. Oh, no. Group this. Shrink it down. We'll live without that top one. All right. So now, if I grab the score sheet and I take a quick look, there are three points for letter A, one for each of the values. So when I look at letter A here, I'll move it up here. There's a point for each value. So g prime of prime is negative two as a point. G prime of three equals two as a point, and g of three equals three. There's three points. Each just value. The average rate of change is two points. All right. They give one point for the answer, and they award one point for showing g of three minus g of zero equals the integral from zero to three of f of t. Is what it says. It says there's a point issued for this. So I earned a point here. I did not show this integral, so I don't think I get that point. I did show this one. So I get one or two there. We should have showed that other integral. There are two values for letter C. The next one, working our way down. Says that they give a point for the answer of two. There are two values that are there, so I have that. The graph of f intersects this value. 
So that I get the two points there, two for two. And finally, the x coordinate points, x2 and x5 on this one, so you get points for these. Because it goes from increasing to decreasing, and decreasing to increasing, which I say positive, negative, that should be fine, so I should get both points there. So in the end, this problem is always worth nine, and we get eight of nine points. And this is a fairly straightforward problem that we should get most of the points on.